Hey, you guys. So I was pulling out a reading and someone called me. So now I'm going to tell you. Well, I finished doing Egyptian puzzle time, so I'm going to go with it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate each and every one of you all for your for your likes, for your subscriptions, and for your shares. And um, I appreciate you. I appreciate you more than you'll know. And I love you. And I welcome you. And I hope I can help you. And thank you, loyal subscribers that stayed su subscribed to me. I lost two subscribers this week. And I, I gained them and I lost them. And some people can't take my energy and i and I, I i thank you people that can i love you and i appreciate you men and women out here who who are for me and i'm for you all and i'm just trying to help heal a lot of us out here okay all right so here is the for egyptian puzzle time and nobody has my permission to copy uh we got out much m-u-c-h and i use my intuition to do this part of my readings i always do and a lot of times i put them at the end of my reading so i mean if you're coming here for a reading i, I most of the time I have them at the end but i've been doing new at the first to maybe get around oh and then we got con so we have much and con and then we have <coughs> Bottle, B-O-T-T-L-E. Then we have mind, M-I-N-D. Then we have save, S-A-V-E. And then we have race, R-A-C, and I'm using the E up here with save, okay? So that's all, that's all that I pulled out for this for this reading right here so what I think it's saying is um, no one can save this con no one can save this con um, they got much since much pulled out they got much race racing through their mind at the moment because they got bottled up, pent up emotions. So that's all I could get out of that. So this con man, their mind is a racing. It, it, I mean, it, it races a thousand times a day. Much, much it's come out. It races a lot. They're bottling up their emotions. Uh, uh, this person needs saving. Like it, it's a damsel in distress or some shit. That's, that's what it is. But nobody can save this person. That's what it said, all right? They're just in a race. And this reading is for men, all right? This reading is for men. So if you're a woman, sorry, woman, but this is for men today because that's how it pulled out. So uh, this was the first thing that I pulled out, and it said, you're a person that gets your guidance from spirits. This stems back to your lineage of Indians. So you're a man that is guided by spirits, okay? And they some woman that feels trapped in a loveless relationship around you men okay and what it is is this person is only a gold digger they didn't realize or see your value <coughs> so she's in a loveless relationship and she's digging for gold that's what it is and it right here it says somebody's digging up stuff from the past about you and this person is amazed by the transformation that you went through look digger she's a gold digger this person is digging up this person is uh, is digging, see digging right there, D-I-G-G-I-N-G, -G -G, is digging up stuff from the past about you. So she's trying to get, get with you. But what it says is uh, someone just wants to make you feel like shit. They're trying to find a way to punish you and try to put all the blame on you and you only. They want to whoop your ass like that. So this woman it might be a woman that... Um, you that you are connected to um in your family or your community you might not even be in a relationship with this woman uh, she is in a relationship with someone and she is jealous of your of you and maybe your relationship if you're in a relationship men out here and if you are in a relationship out here with somebody and you're in love please hit a little like and subscribe and share please 444 i love y'all and i hope you have a good family life okay so then I got this tarot reading. I got six of pentacles. And uh, this is about you. You're somebody that 
shows charity you you give uh, to others. You know, this is about giving and receiving and sharing your wealth. She wants to share in your wealth, and uh, but the thing is, she's got a lot of secrets, and she's got deep seated concern over your life and your relationships for some reason, because she's got a lot of inner turmoil and. And you need to release worry with this person, okay? And then we got King of Pentacles. This is about abundance, prosperity, security, leadership, and wealth. So, and then we got Knight of Cups, Idolist, Romantic, Emotional, Imaginative, Sensitive. Then we got Empress, Fertility, Expression, Motherhood, Abundance, Stability. And then we got Four of Wands, Harmony, Celebration, Home, Community. I'll tell you what it means in a minute. Then we got the tower, ruin, disgrace, catastrophe, destruction. Then we got bad investment, lost opportunity, lack of foresight, ace of pentacles upside down. Then we got wheel of fortune, change, luck, destiny, chance, opportunity, fate. Then we have queen of cups upside down, self-care, martyrdom, insecurity, dependence. And then we have three of swords, grief, suffering, heartbreak, sorrow, emotional pain. So I think since we had uh we had a queen of cups and uh a king of pentacles i think it's a cancer scorpio or pisces or taurus virgo capricorn woman okay you guys but anyways what it's saying is this person is is in nostalgia um they they uh can't stop uh no that ain't nostalgia this is a this is about this woman sees you as very giving and in a relationship okay and but what it is this woman's got a lot of secrets and uh she's got a lot of inner tor turmoil because you're uh, a leader in your community are you listening and and she knows that you're very romantic and emotional and and she knows that you have a stable life with this empress uh you know the empress she knows that you you're you might be married to this empress and y'all got a lot of abundance and stability but you don't have to be married she just is jealous that you have somebody an empress that loves you and uh you and this empress has you know harmony and celebration in your home life and community she is wanting to cause ruin uh this this woman is wanting to cause ruin and a total disgrace catastrophe into your life and i mean it, and it could be this empress that's doing it and you know that that would be a bad investment but she's mad because she lost an opportunity with you and don't worry she karma is coming karma the wheel is turning and you know this is your destiny and um she she feels like she is she needs to take a chance to uh to uh be dependent she wants to be dependent on you she, this woman doesn't want to work do you understand she doesn't want to work she just wants to keep you in grief and suffering and heartbreak and emotional pain. Whoever this woman is, now wait and you'll see who. what else I think. So that's a bad investment. If I was you, I wouldn't get with that person, whoever it is, you all. I don't know who it is. It might not even be a woman of your age and she's pissed off. And you'll know why I said that in just a minute, okay? So then I pulled out the offering and... And, and I'm reading it how it fell out. And it's in the dark, okay? And this person gives with expectation. So if she gives something to you, she expects something back. Always. That's how this woman up here is. And, and she keeps track of everything that she gives you. Are you listening? Now this is, uh, if she gives you a gift, she keeps, she keeps up with it. But she's small-minded and the village this is somebody from your hometown could be your family or your tribe your spiritual tribe okay but this is a small-minded gossiping person that is is trapped trapped see feels trapped trapped 
See it right there, T-R-A-P-P-E-D. She's gossiping and trapped right now and restricted. She she can't get around you at the moment. It's pissing her off. But she is uh, trapped in her addictions. Uh, the eternal child, she's selfish and she's, she's burnt out. This person is burnt out. And she needs to go inside and heal this inner child. Whoever, whatever happened to you as a child, honey, woman, whoever you are, I don't know who you are, and I, and I don't want to know you, actually. But whoever you are, you need to go inside and clean, clean yourself up, okay? But whoever she is, she's burnt out, and she's very sarcastic, okay? She, she's a, she thinks she's a comic clown fool, who, and she looks like a stupid fool, too. Whoever she is is sarcastic. This is her dark side. She's a sarcastic, harsh, brooding drunk is what she fucking is. And, and she, she can't uh, get around you, and it keeps pissing her off so much because she's fraught and entangled in a web of lies and deceit and you know she she's tangled up in betrayal this is the home the center the throne <coughs> she's a uh, she's drunk and she's harsh sounding because she's fucked around on her old man and that's why she's trapped in love relationship and, and what it is, is whoever she is, she's overworked and resentful. She's trapped. She's tired. It said it again. She's trapped three times. Trapped, trapped, trapped. Three times. Trapped. Three times. And uh, so, uh, remember, she keeps track of what you do to her. But, you know, uh, she could be somebody who plays peacemaker in a relationship. Okay. But whoever it is, it's 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 an old woman. See the crone? So this old woman feels trapped up with her old man. And, and she knows she's a gold digger. And that's the only reason she stays with her old man that's probably whipped her ass. Whipped that ass. Her old man's whipped her ass. And uh, never gives her any attention or love. And she wishes that she could go through a transformation like you. That's all it means. Like maybe she, maybe she's looking over here at me to you all, whoever this woman is, and she's mad because I transformed to help all humanity. She doesn't like it. But whoever she is, she's a she's a damn witch. She's a witch, and she's bitter. She's bitter. She's a bitter witch. She's a bitter witch. All right, that's exactly what she is. A bitter witch, you guys. What about bitter witch that we need to know? What about bitter witch that we need to know? I'm going to give y'all a big old message right here in a minute from my or from my uh, other messages, okay? This could be uh, somebody that lives in the east, on the east coast. This is about beginnings. Oh, and this is attraction, magneticism. She's she's mad that you're in a beginning with this person that's attracted to you. She's mad. And maybe you see 337 a lot. And uh, you're somebody that knows how to alchemize, see magic. Go ahead and hit a little like and subscribe and share you guys. I need your all's help. She's mad that you're, you're beginning this, uh, you're beginning this attraction with this this person and, and you're all magical she sees y'all as magical and that you have rich in us you're very abundant look marine life maybe maybe this like i said earlier was a cancer scorpio or pisces it's some uh this is a water sign it's a water sign trust me you guys and uh she sees that you you just have a rich a rich kind a rich rich and abundant in your spiritual and then we have bravery and oceans. We have bravery and oceans. So look there, and, and it looks like that woman's just walking on water. She she knows that you're brave enough to go after your goals and dreams, and she never was. That's what this reading means. That's all it means, you guys. She's not brave enough to go after it. Now let's see what one of these is. Okay, you guys. Yeah, she ain't brave enough to do like you. She all she can do is sit around and joke around and laugh and get drunk and sound stupid. That's what she does. She gets drunk and sounds stupid and harsh. 
She's a sarcastic, B-I-T-C-H. Oh, and look what else she is. She's a thief. So there's a thief around you, and uh, she wants to steal your money and your creative ideas and affection or your other powers that you think you lack. So this woman that doesn't have love or any dick, she doesn't have a companion. She doesn't have dick. She might be lying on this... Uh, on this on this platform right here she's lying and telling people that she doesn't have sex and she's lying uh, or or maybe she ain't lying maybe she's maybe she has a man and they live together and she says that they they don't practice sex but what it is yeah she does she practices she practices sex with somebody else that's what it is and, and she don't understand she's trying to steal your companion that is loyal you're somebody that's, that practices loyalty, loyalty, tenacity, and you're unselfish. And she doesn't like that. So she wants to steal your money. Are you listening? She wants to steal your money and your man. And you're not going to over here, bitch. Because, uh, you know. And she, she doesn't like that you inspire creative energy to embrace the good things in life. And you celebrate the beauty in yourself. She sees you as a hedonist, like somebody who's very beautiful and look. Maybe you got black hair, and this woman has black hair. I'm talking about to the women that is watching me, and she doesn't like that you celebrate the beauty in yourself. She doesn't like it. And men, men that are watching me, this woman is jealous because you have a beautiful companion. She's beautiful. She wants to steal your money and your creative ideas and anything, and your affection. She wants to steal all of it. 1633. But you're exercising her demons. Maybe she's somebody that's a devil worshiper. Maybe you, maybe you watched this woman until she actually said that no, she didn't believe in God, and now you know she's a devil worshiper. And you're exercising her demons, yeah. You're exercising her demons because she has a fear of facing her own demons, honey. You gotta face them demons. You gotta face them demons in your life. You're exercising this woman's demons, yeah. That's what it is. Because she's a fucking narcissist. She's a narcissist. And narcissist, you know, I'll, I'll help heal your get them demons out of you don't worry i will help get them demons out of you i promise <laughs> if you keep watching me i'll show you <clears throat> okay let's see if it what's what some of my message <clears throat> for these men that don't need to be around this. Oh, this person is tapping into your energy and trying to stay connected to your energy just so you don't uh, leave them. So maybe you're with a woman in your relationship, men that's listening to me, and she don't want you to leave and go towards your twin ray or twin flame. No, 1757, I just saw. But she, even if you're not with this person, because I don't think that some of y'all are, because this is an older woman, she's tapping into your energy and... She just don't want you to uh, be away from her because she's trying to steal money and your, anything. She's trying to steal anything from you. Are you listening? Oh, and it could be somebody uh, that's house has burned down. Somebody that might have burnt down a house for insurance money. I don't know. And it's that woman because she's trapped in a lowest relationship. And this woman is too complacent and they need to stop listening to whoever it is that has control over them. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Stop saying yes to them. Stop saying yes to this woman, men that are listening to me. Okay? She's trying to get... She might be trying to steal your insurance money. Are you fucking listening? Now, I'm telling you right now, it's what the hell it just said. And, and, and somebody wants to end you, take your life, but they can't have your soul because you're highly protected from God and angels. You're all highly protected, men and women that's watching me, so don't worry. And and, uh, and that, this person placed a bet on you, and they can't because divine beings win every time. She placed a bet on trying to uh, steal your love. She's 1919, and she can't. She can't. And a woman and man in love doesn't feel funny talking about their partner because they're in love. See, that's why she's mad. She's mad because you can talk about all the good, the bad, and the ugly in your relationship. And you're exercising these people's demons doing that. She didn't understand. But she don't understand how good you are and what God wanted you to do. And her mind is getting ready to explode and bust 
from all the low down dirty shit that comes out because she knows that she did a lot of low down dirty shit yeah and and all these people that ganged up on you and me out here you guys they're now wishing they hadn't fucked with you and your power because now they would be paying paying dollar signs for that mistake oh that's why they're mad because all the shit that they've done to you is coming out and, and now they're getting ready to pay they're gonna be paying for that mistake yeah yeah paying oh look yeah you know you need to look in your tenth house and this is where influences and status in your job and career and in your community is in your mid heaven your tenth house look in your tenth house and a tenth house belongs to Capricorn, so look in yours and you'll see what is in yours. And I know what's in mine. Ha <laughs> ha. How many times do you have to keep telling this person, this woman, your truth, but you can't you but yet you can feel them holding back their truth from you one hundred, one thousand, five thousand times, yeah. It'll be five thousand times and they're not going to tell you the truth because it done told you that she's a gossipy liar and that she needed to do healing from her childhood, but your finances are getting ready to increase tremendously. Just for your good energy and you going after your dreams and goals. And that's why she's mad. She's trying to steal your money. See? She just... But she can't. Her mind's going to explode when she sees that you're a divine being and you and your person loves you so much. And, and your money's going to increase and it's going to piss her off. It's going to piss her off because she can't be in your energy anymore. That's all it means, okay? Now let me get some more messages for you all. So, whew, about dropped him. Yeah, she bet that she could take your man. Uh, I mean, or since me and I was doing this reading basically for y'all, she bet that that she could break you and your person up. That's what it is. She bet that she could she could be yours. So she was trying to break up your relationship. And this is some older woman I feel, you guys, because it done said it. Okay, so trust me, and I love you. And if you like how I do this, please hit subscribe. I love you guys. And this is for the collective, okay? She's going to do anything to mess up your relationships, okay? Who is this person, spirit? I'm just going to... Who is this person, spirit? Who is this person's spirit? Spirit. Right. Oh yeah, and and I know they got they had a lot of emotional baggage. I told you they needed to uh, cleanse, clean up their insides, but this woman is too scared to do that. Whoever she is, she's she's too coward. Or that's what it is. I hope y'all like how I do these uh, readings like this, you guys. I try to give you the most information I can, and that's why I need your guys' help out here, okay? And I appreciate you all. Alright, now let me get all my messages for you guys and gals. I'll cheer you guys and gals. I think this is for the divine masculines out here. All you guys, okay? But I know this woman, whoever she is, and if she's connected over here to me, I know she's gonna come over here and fucking look at everything I do. I know she is, okay? And something about you completed this cycle with her. Oh, wow, good for you. 2444. Oh, and it could be somebody in your family. 444, see? Oh, yep. 
And the lady you work with, that's a blonde, is the one that told lies on you and her husband. Oh, they both told lies on you, and you completed that cycle. It's okay. You don't care. This man and woman has a lot of emotional baggage. They're emotionally unavailable, see? That's why she's trapped in her love. She can't tell her truths. Narcissists are self-absorbed. It's a one-sided relationship. They love bomb you daily. This woman love bombs you daily. Are you listening out here, man, men, women? Man and women, listen to me. This man is uh, love bombing you or woman. This uh, man is love bombing you. And it says, I lost myself during the dark night of the soul. Yeah, I'd say you did, honey. They're stalking your YouTube channel, see? This narcissist is stalking your YouTube channel. And you're going to be remembered for years and years to come for your work in society, see? That's why they can't stop stalking you because they know. And I know I'm going to be because I don't stop making videos. So I know that one day I'm going to be picked up and boo, 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 and I'm going to say, thank you, spirit, and I love you, and I knew it would happen. Oh, and I want to make love to you till the end of time. Ooh, somebody wants to make us mix it with you. And quit judging me, MFers. That's what you're saying. Quit judging me, MFers. It says, I pushed you away to see if you would stay. This woman pushed you away, men, to see if you would stay. And women, this man pushed you away to see if you would stay. And they're a fucking narcissist. They tell you, I love you. You're so beautiful, baby. Your face is the beautifulest I ever laid eyes on. Do you understand? They're trying to steal for it. They only want it fucking your money. They only wanted your money. They wanted to steal this person that actually loved you for seeing who you was truly. They they want they kept you away from that. But you're getting ready to exercise all their demons. Ha ha ha. And they're hiding shit they've done from you. You're hiding shit you've done from me. That's what that's what I'm saying. The sins of the father, breaking generational curses, reaping karma, not praying. Yeah, see, this father needs to pray. You need to pray because you're supposed to break generational curses with these women and men. Are you listening? You have to forgive the past to excel farther on your path. You'll heal if you forgive your frenemies. So all that means is forgive them. But you don't have to forget. But you can forgive them. So you had some frenemies that got the geek geek going. They're meth heads. You can forgive the sins of this father and these meth heads. Stop hiding shit, father. Look how all that blue come out. It says you're hiding shit you've done from me. You, you're hiding shit you've done to me. This father's hiding shit they've done to you. They got the geek geek going. They're, they're a meth head. Okay? They're a meth head. Happy birthday to you, my love. Somebody's saying happy birthday to you all out there. It says, I needed your loving kindness and just to see your smile again. And this, and this person pushed you away to see if you'd stay. And now they want to see your smile again. And somebody's in this pick-me energy. I can do it for you, honey, energy. See? It's that fucking gold digger. And it come to light, the sun. It come to light because I just told you that you're going to be a great joy and success. And This shit is like a down soap opera, like sands in the hourglass. These are the days of our lives. Yeah, it is. In tarot land. If the shoe fits, wire it. Quit judging him, efforts, because y'all know what y'all done. Archangel Michael serves as a warrior and advocate for Israel. Is looked upon particularly fondly. That's what Archangel Michael, he's, he's a good one. And I love you, Archangel Michael, and I know you're a warrior. And get out of my way or I will push your freaking ass out of my damn way. That's how a that woman is, see? She said, get out of my way, I'll push you out of the way. And I did know a woman I worked with like that. And they're going down memory lane right now. They're going down memory lane right now. This father that, that sinned a lot. And your ancestors is telling you to run from the people that you're trauma bonding with and learn to go within and see what needs to be healed. See, I told you, that woman needs to uh, heal. And she's not. She's got a lot of shit on the inside from childhood that she still hasn't healed. And that's why she's a judger. That's why she goes around judging. Quit judging me, MFers. Ladies, I work for. Y'all went around telling lies, you and your husband. 
Something about the bank. This woman did work at a bank. It's funny it come out. It's funny it come out together. Is that in the same? The lady you worked with at a bank. If you worked with the lady at a bank, she lied on you and your old man. And your divine feminine is of royal bloodline. Don't get that twisted. I, I yeah. And I know it that I am. I've done linked mine, and you can't lie. And there's a good officer helping you. A good officer. Thank you, good officer. I love you. And this person is definitely only wanting a sexual co connection. See, that woman only wanted a sexual connection. And your abundance is mighty and plentiful. Spirit has given you many superpowers. Thank you for that. Oh, wow. And that good officer knows it. And you need to not put your faith in everyone that you come across because they're not all good people in life. And I learned that with this woman over here that used to work at the bank and that I worked with. I know. I know. And you are their karma. Take the whole damn bunch down for their evil deeds that they've done to many people. See? That's their karma. If the shoe fits, you gotta wire it, people. Y'all know it. You went around lying and slandering my name and, hey, I completed that cycle. Hey, and this good officer knows all about it and that good officer knows that I'm gonna receive abundance for all that shit that I had to put up with and happy birthday to me and that, that, that officer said quit judging this woman for what she's done. It come to light that this shit's like a down soap opera and, and, and it was true and uh, you, somebody needs some love and kindness and they want to just make love to you to the end of time. They want to go down memory lane with you but somebody's in that pick, pick me energy and they just want sex and it's this woman that has a lot of emotional baggage or this man and they're a fucking narcissist. They're a narcissist and your answer is just telling you to run. They got the geek, geek meth going on. Sins of the father, sins of the father. Quit doing meth. Quit hiding shit from me that you're doing. Quit hiding shit. Archangel Michael is helping me, and he's a warrior, and I love you, Michael. And, and your royal bloodline. Get out of my way or I'll push you. That's what she said. You're going to be remembered for years to come. That's why they keep stalking your YouTube channel. It said you have to forgive the past to excel further on their path. You'll heal if you forgive your frenemies. I, 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 I forgive you, frenemies. I forgive you, frenemies. And somebody lost herself during the dark night of the soul. And, and you got to remember, you need not to put your faith in everyone you come across because they're, they're not all good people in life. And, and it says, I pushed you away to see if you would stay. So this person just... This person up here likes to push people away just to see if they'll stay. That's all. And I hope this reading helps you all out today. I tired you guys. Here, let me give you a little. You're going to have to go to court with this uh, karmic male. That's how you'll be receive great happiness. But... You're going to have some sad news coming. Sad news coming, and it could be with about a proposal. And then we have a little child in living room. Marriage card. Prison. Ooh. Prison for the lady. So, what it's saying is, this lady is getting ready to go to prison. That fucked with your marriage. This lady is going to prison that messed with your marriage. And, and you're going to... Uh, because, uh, you know, she wanted your living room to be empty. She didn't want your family or no one to be around you because she's trapped in her loveless relationship because she is a gold digger, remember? And um, she didn't want this little child to come to your living room. And if you're a grandparent, she was trying to keep your... This woman was trying to keep your grandchild away from your home. And, and I know for a fact this happened to me. I know for a fucking fact. I heard him talk about it every time. I heard him talk about it. And then we have a proposal right here. A proposal. Maybe somebody that you're connected to. Number 25. Maybe you might even be married with them. I don't know. But you're going to receive some sad news. 
some sad news and great happiness. Some sad news and great happiness because this karmic man, this karmic man and woman, this karmic man and woman is going to go to court. They're going to go to court and you'll be happy. You'll be happy uh, because they fucked with your marriage. That's why you're going to have to go to court with them because you, you'll have success in love. I mean, you'll still have success in love, so don't worry, you guys. All right, so I hope it helps you out there, and I love y'all, and please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Peace. Please hit subscribe right now, you guys. If you watch it all the way through, hit subscribe. I love you. Bye.